guys, how are you guys doing? So today's video is actually a request that I got from a lot of you guys. A lot of you guys have asked me how I save money and how do I spend money? How do I like live this glam life spending all this money like crazy? I actually don't spend that much money. But sometimes you guys ask me questions like, does she have a sugar daddy? Well, some of you guys may assume that I do have a sugar daddy, but no, I do not. Um, I have never had a sugar daddy in my entire life. A lot of the nice things that I've ever had since I was like 16 years old are bought from my father and you guys know I have a really 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 close-knit family that I spend with all the time. My father has bought me a lot of nice things while I was schooling and in school, college, high school, graduate school. So a lot of the things that I've gotten such as my Tiffany's necklace and my Prada bags and my Louis Vuitton and my Gucci's and whatnot are bought from my father. So hopefully that answers my question about sugar daddies. Now my glam life is supported fully by me because I do save a lot of money as well as spend money. I'm going to teach you guys today how to save money as well as spend money. So first of all, if you guys make a certain amount of money, if you guys have a job or if you get an allowance or if you get, you know, or save Christmas money or birthday money or whatever you guys have, you definitely need to save half of it at least. So let's say you get $200, save $100 and use $100. And sometimes I know that's a little hard to do, especially if you have rent or if you have bills to pay and things like that. But definitely keep in mind or try to save at least half of it because if you accumulate half of it, that's half of your income. And then at the end of like six or seven weeks, you do have a chunk of money that you can spend or a chunk of money that you have set aside for you for your future or things like that. I like to check my bank account often so I don't overspend or I'm not like negative or anything like that. So definitely if you guys have a bank account, if you're in college or things like that, you can open a free bank account, Bank of America or Chase or Wells Fargo and it will be free if you are a student. So definitely do that. And then you can also set a savings account for money that you don't really touch that you can't use directly on your debit card. And that's how you can like secure your savings money. So you can definitely do that as well. Um, I definitely will save money for a large purchase like a car or a home or something that you are really, really thinking that you really, really want um, for the future that will be practical. I definitely don't try to spend money on like really, really fashion, like in trend just right now kind of clothes because those fashion trends tend to come and go. So I definitely want to make bigger purchases and spend more money on things that are more timeless, like things that are black and white, things that will last for more than a year. I like to get boots that are more expensive so I can wear them every fall and winter and things like that, or jackets, like leather jackets and things that are bigger purchases that are more expensive. I like to get things that will be timeless and that will last and something that will definitely like for a longer period of time. So that's how I spend money. Um, definitely for things that are like just in trend and fashion for right now, I definitely try to spend less of an amount. Like I'll shop at like Forever 21 for trends that are like right now or like Zara instead of going to like Topshop or BCBG or BB or Guess Marciano or something like that. Those brands are a little bit more. Trends that are right now, I definitely will try to go the cheaper route. Sometimes it is also hard to save money if you do have you know a checking account or credit card um, so I definitely will budget that out it's always also good to have like a notepad where you write down all your purchases or save receipts and check what kind of purchases you made that month um, you know if you already spent like two thousand dollars on clothes then definitely don't spend any more if you already spend like almost all your money on clothes definitely don't buy any more clothes that month I definitely like to save my receipts and write everything down everything is better if you're organized too as well so you're not like missing like clothes and you rebuy something else sometimes you don't remember that you bought something so then you can't find it but if you're organized you definitely can see all your clothes and you know what you bought so that's also a great thing on how you can save your money so you don't like rebuy anything like that definitely if you have an excess of something before you buy anything give it away or sell it or something like that because you don't want to have an overload of things in your house I have done like an old-school way of saving as well where I had an envelope and I wrote what I wanted and I would save money and keep it aside in a drawer to not spend I do that sometimes as well sometimes like when you keep seeing it in your bank account you think you have the money sometimes when you see it in the bank account you're like okay I have that money I could spend it so if you don't have kind of like self-control when you see it in the bank account definitely set it aside in an envelope so you pretend that you don't have it like mentally tell yourself I don't have that money and then it's a side in the envelope like buried somewhere really far or something like that you can try that method as well but um, definitely it's so so great to save money like sometimes people are like money is meant to be spent yes money is meant to be spent but money is also meant to be saved like you never know people lose jobs all the time there are sometimes things that need to be paid for such as medical bills you never know if you get sick all of a sudden that's why I like promote health so much because I feel like healthy living is happy living but you never know if like you get in some kind of accident and you need the money or 
somebody like your mom needs money or some crazy emergency happens, you never know. So it's always good to always have extra money saved. I definitely feel it's super important to save money even if you're like super successful and you're so rich and you just have so much money. I definitely feel that everyone should save money because you never know what tomorrow brings you. I know all of you guys out there are successful and will be successful in the future and will have amazing jobs and will have amazing income, but sometimes you just need to save money. So I wanted to make this video for you guys because saving money is cool. Um, spending all the time is not cool because the last thing you want is like buyer's remorse and you go crazy. You're like, oh my gosh, why did I buy this and now I can't return it and things like that. So I hope you guys like this video. I love you guys so much. I hope this helped and good luck and happy saving. And it's holiday season soon. Well, you probably will be spending a lot more money than usual for other people and helping other people and things like that. I just want to get this video out there. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys want to see more money videos, financial videos, business videos, success videos, or anything like that for advice, let me know in the comments below. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Mwah.